Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Moving forward, I feel like uh, weekdays will be videos here in the garage and I feel like it's going to be more catered towards answering uh, subscriber questions and concerns or people who have emailed me directly. And uh, weekends, I'll try to do my best to make it more fun and vlog-like. So with that, today I want to talk to you guys about this question. Should I compromise or should I get a WRX? So again guys, I've had a lot of people email me um, all types of uh, age ranges, you know, from those who are a lot older than me to those who are a lot younger than me, and it's always centering around this question. Hey Tom, should I get the WRX or should I compromise and get another vehicle? And I think you already know the answer to that question, which is no. You already know what you want. In life, guys, things you know happen for a reason life is too short and I don't want you to live your life feeling unhappy and feeling as though you've compromised right in life each and every one of us we're striving to find our personal happiness we want to do things that make us happy and if it means owning this vehicle owning this dumb car makes you that much happier do it but be very very methodical on how you go about it um, you already know my story i don't want you to jump into debt just to be able to get this car now i tell people again and again that you know if you've been wanting this wrx for such a long time and you're asking everyone hey should i get it or you're driving other people's car like you're always asking the same question again and again is this car really good? Is this car really good? Is this car really worth it? You already know the answer to it and you're just trying to tell yourself, talk yourself out of it. Talk yourself out of getting the vehicle because you know how much you really want this car. So ask yourself, does this little car, this plastic piece of machinery really make me that much happier? And if the answer is yes, if you really want this car, Plan for it, be prepared for it financially, and I will help you on the haggling process. I've helped so many people so far already and I'm very grateful to uh, have the opportunity to help you guys. And if I can make it as a big and successful YouTuber one day, guys, I promise you, I want to create a WRX fund. Like, I want to provide the ability to help other people leverage the cost down a little bit so that they could get their WRX and because I'm an ambassador and I love Subaru and I really love my WRX I want to help those who also want a WRX you know like that's really what I want to see is I want to see people happy around me and of course it would be amazing one day to be able to hold my own Tom Van car meet and have every single person there I've helped in one way or another get a WRX or, or another vehicle like that would make my life uh, you know, it would give me so much meaning to this YouTube platform. So maybe one day if I can make it um, and, you know, pay my dues, I'd love to, you know, grant that opportunity to help people out. Maybe start like an application process or something like that, get some funding going. But back to the question, don't compromise. Um, it's like a relationship. It's like any type of relationship. Don't compromise just because things are safe. You know, like it's okay at certain times in your life, certain points in your life, but if that underlying question keeps popping up again and again, and you keep asking yourself, should I compromise or should I get this car? Should I get this car? And when you're driving out there on the road and every time you come across another owner or someone who's driving a WRX or any other car that you really want, and you know you get that sinking feeling wishing that you were that guy how lucky that person is to have that vehicle and you're driving what you're driving now prepare for it so that's what I want for you to do is ask yourself if this really makes you happy do it and don't lie to yourself because I've been there I've you know again saved for three long years I had other uh, financial commitments to take care of I had to clear my debt um, you know, I had to pay off student loans. Of course, I moved out on my own at the time, so I learned how to budget. But, you know, if you're married, talk with your partner. Talk with them and ask them, hey, 
I really want this car, you know, I want it for not just for you, but for me, for my sanity. I don't want to keep talking about this car again and again and again and drive us batty or drive us nuts. So, you know, if you have a partner, you know, ask them if they're willing to compromise with you. This is an amazing vehicle. And the biggest setback to this is if you don't like it, you could always trade it or sell it off and you'll get majority of your money back. Like, that's what I enjoy the most about this vehicle is that it's a safe gamble. And, you know, buying vehicles is very daunting because, you know, the stigma of losing so much of your money uh, when you purchase the vehicle. But if you're very smart, if you make a substantial down payment onto your vehicle or if you buy the car outright, you'll get it for a really good deal. Subarus hold their value very well. They're very, very practical. They're very, very safe. And you're a happy camper, you know, and... What makes you happy makes those around you happy. And so you're no longer, you know, walking around with that dark cloud hovering over your head and raining on you all the time and constantly reminding you how much you want an all-wheel drive vehicle. You know, how much you want this stupid Subaru WRX or an STI or any other vehicle that you want. So you already know the answer to the question that you keep asking again and again. And the main reason why you're trying to lie to yourself or try to convince yourself to get out of it is be probably due to financials is probably because the price tag is a bit daunting but if you're patient like i was you know um prepare for it plan ahead and one day you'll be able to get it so um this video is going to be i feel like it's a little more mellow and laid back but uh, i feel like this is more real this is more me actually directing uh, my answers to you than you know responding via email so I do try to get back to my emails as quickly as possible my usual turnaround time is about 24 hours but give or take you know um, things are starting to pick up in my life um, I have uh, trips planned out next week as well I'm, I'm heading away so I hope you guys like this video and of course if you do get this video a thumbs up and if you like share and subscribe, you know, you'll see me more and more again. And of course, if you have more questions or if you want to have a more of a personal uh, uh, method of communication with me, you're more than welcome to email me. So with that, guys, peace out.